Tell me, what is a way that you implement with your faith? I have to tell myself, I have to do this for the glory of God and for no other reason. Pro pretty much close to a decade, I was competing for the wrong reasons. I wanted the titles, you yeah. know, I wanted the attention, I wanted the popularity, and for the better part of nine years, I lost all these big meets, these big national meets. And I was getting better too, I was yeah. getting good, but it would never materialize. Like it'd be right in front of me and I could taste it and it just wouldn't happen. And I'd be so angry, so upset, and I would be so let down. I was depressed and yeah. I had a lot of anxiety over it, mm. obsessing constantly. It just be, kind of became everything. And then 2013 comes around. In my mind, I'm thinking, oh yeah, this is my year. This is okay. my year, I'm gonna win a world title. Sure enough, I go and I just completely fall on my face. I bomb out, I didn't even get a lift in. That was the first time in my career up to that point, I probably had 40 some meets in. After being ranked first, yep. you go and bomb out. Yep, I'd had enough. Straw that broke the camel's back. I went down and I'm thinking, man, I'm never gonna win this. Decided to, to lift it up to God and pray. It was a very sincere thing. I felt what I know now, the Holy Spirit telling me, if you're not gonna believe in yourself, at least believe in me. Everything got lighter, my heart felt lighter. I felt like I could breathe. If I'm gonna win, I wanna win, and I wanna win right. It was like five guys in a row missing lifts, but I ended up winning. I just immediately started sobbing. The, the medals, the titles, the, the traveling, everything, it pales in comparison to what God did for me that, that time. As long as there's a heart beating in my chest, I'm working for God.